Every town has its legends. Every neighborhood has its boogeyman. A killer with a hook for a hand. The drifter who snatches children. The witch who lives in the woods. Why are you here tonight? We hear stories. You just want to see what it's about, I guess. What do you guys expect to find out here? People who died here are supposed to be the ghosts. Do you believe that they're devil worshippers? Oh, in the yeah, woods, I yeah? do. Mm -hmm. I do. Do you think every urban legend has truth behind it? Yes, I think you have to have some form of, like, truth to gonna go off of. A truth that is often more terrifying than any fiction. An old legend that actually happened this time. Many more cases of contaminated treats. I know she suffered a lot. He pulled a knife and tied me up with electrical tape. I almost destroyed you to see something like that. A random crazy man, lunatic. Taking a scary story and literally making it true. Today they found the bodies of at least three young boys buried under his house. For Rachel and I, this is an attempt to uncover the truth behind our urban legends. <gasps> oh my God, that's the cord around her neck. As we pull back the curtain on what it is we all fear. Do you believe that really happened? Yeah, and she was holding on like for dear life to the fans. People had theories and all kinds of rumors had been bouncing around. So many people believed the fiction and the fiction became reality. Legends last for a long time. Look at that line, son of a mm -hmm. bitch. You don't trust nobody. Can't. Because urban legends, as scary as they may be, are really just warnings for something much more dangerous. The reality that may have started it all. <laughs>